Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the support. Um, our community is growing very fast and being able to know that we can help each other along our, you know, our true paths of getting the answers that we truly deserve is truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, especially when you want to know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. It, you know, even if it's about the, you know, positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give, how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated and I love you from the bottom of my heart and I hope you're able to uh, resonate with the content of my video and today uh, my, my background music is eliminate subconscious negativity remove mental blockages and dissolve negative patterns and I will post that link in the description box below and today my video is just like I got so many you know content that's been coming towards me on my day of Oh, what is it? Siesta. Just resting and stuff like that. Um, it's called Twin Flame 101. Uh, hell, because the damn uh, retrograde got us going through it. And it does. It's like I didn't know how long the retrograde was going to go on for. But it has truly been eye opening as well as um, um, basically, it, it's been draining as well, but it's bringing out a positive outcome. It's like stuff that we all had to go through, um, seeing things for what they truly are. Uh, we're releasing a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that is just left debris there. <laughs> so it's, it's just like things that you silly, really, I mean, really thought you have gone through that you have, you know, just basically faced and you have let them go or you're on that that journey of processing the painful experience that you have went through you know um like i said we we're all at that generation where you know we're breaking the cycles breaking the court you know uh, uh the curses and stuff like that so you know a lot of times it feels like you know we're really going through hell because we actually are but you have to think about that you know we're still carrying stuff from our prior lives you know we're carrying things that were passed down to us so it's just like when we were in our higher self you know before we have gotten here we applied ourselves to say you know what hey i got this you know um i'm going to heal this family you know we all picked our family before we got here but it's just like when we come down to become our incarnate self they wipe all our memories out so it's just like it when if we had all the knowledge information whatever you want to call it you know um to be able to get through these things you would you wouldn't have never learned anything and you would have been right back at square one so it's just like we had to go through many lifetimes to be able to understand why things are the way they are why are people actions around these things we have all had good experiences as well as bad ones but it's like it's all teaching us something you know the retrograde is going to have you purging out a lot of things you're going to get very emotional i know i was emotional yesterday all up and down and it was like i was with my granddaughter and my my daughter yesterday so it gave me that chance to be able to connect with them on different levels you know we enjoyed ourselves because it's like with our family you know it was going through a healing process you know things were strained between me and my children so it, it's just like a blessing to me to be able to enjoy that time with them you know not reflect on anything negative just to be able to make peace with it you know because it's just the fact is with my situation with my family you know not being able to you know i cut the family that i grew up with is acknowledged uh from this life you know i had to keep away from them because of the incidences that happened in my life um and not able to know my biological when it really put a strain on my life but this also gave me strength as well you know so it's just a lot of things that you know has been placed in our life we we have to go through the worst possible things and it's just like 
you know, we have to be able to pay attention to see how things work, you know, to be able to heal all, all, la all levels and all layers. You know, when we feel like one thing is over with and we feel like we have forgave and move on, you know, with us is hell because we always go the hard way anyway. So it's just like all of us are being activated. You know, there's a lot of us going through this spiritual boot camp where they're allowing things to come to the surface. And it's not like, you know, you could be doing something and next thing you know, a painful memory will come up. And it's not like your self-conscious is wanting to keep on, you know, dealing with that. But it's just the retrograde, the shifts, like the spring equinox, the, you know, the crescent moon, the strawberry moon, the new moon, all these different things has played a major part in our lives for us to be able to keep going towards that new you know, chapter in our lives that is just new. Every A lot of us are in our new chapters and you're like, dang, I still feel like I'm going through the same stuff from my old chapter. Yeah, it might, yes and no. So it's just the fact that you had to really, you know, go through those things. You know, there's a lot of things that's been like a f unfortunate events that's going on in our lives where it like, it seemed like things coming at you back to back to back. But it's like those things had it happen that way you know you're probably hearing people talk about you you're probably people having people judge you you know you're getting to little spats over misconstrued situations you know um having a broken connection with people um or people are trying to be sly you know um to try to use that speed bump to put in your life you know all these different things is helping you grow you know, and I know it's a lot of times I look at my situation like, damn, this is not fair, <laughs> you know, but it is, it's like, you know, when you're heading towards things, it has to, you know, a lot of things is not going to be easy for you to get to, you know, a lot of times you, you might get upset because you didn't get things when you wanted it on your time. It's like, I always have to work on divine timing. And it's just like, you have to go through a series of things, knowing that you, you know, you can't, where you're trying to go, you can't have any anger harboring in your heart. You can't have any regret harboring in your heart. You know, we're not supposed to go back, even though we have past experiences where we say we should cut a woulda. Those, those things had to happen in our lives for us to be able to learn. You know, being able to take credit for our own actions. You know, there's a lot of things that I can say my family's done to me, but there's a lot of things that I can say because of the, you know, the decisions I made. You know, this and this and that happen. You have to be able to acknowledge the things that you have put forth in your life because it's like you, what you stay focused on could be something that you're bringing back. You know, if you're working hard on something, you have to believe in yourself that whatever you're you're working on, you're going to succeed at it. But if you're like going there, in, you know, riding the fence like, oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know where this is taking me, is our us being in human form. You know, it allows us to sometimes we don't take credit when credit's due. You're a lot stronger than you actually realize, but you have to be able to acknowledge that because it's just like you, when you sit with oneself by yourself, not with a group of people, because a lot of times I know people that can't be by themselves. You have to be your own best friend at times. You have to know yourself on all levels to be able to know whatever you're wanting in life. You know, if you want to be with the soulmate or whatever, you have to be able to endure so many things but it's allowing you to reflect on that because a lot of times we we have friendships and relationships that we really didn't wish we had but those people had to be in our lives for us to be able to know what lessons that they brought to us whether it was good or bad but you have to be able to be by yourself at times because that's when that time you're getting to know yourself on all levels on all directions and being able to see the things that you need to let go of, the things you need to heal, the things you need to enhance in your life, the things that you need to look forward to, the things that you work harder for so you can get where you need to go. You know, um, being able to help others as you're helping yourselves. There's a lot of things that come in our life we're trying to get the answers, but there's a lot of times they, they bring somebody that you have to help to end up bringing you the answers that you need. So it's just a lot of things we're all getting connected to. You know, we're going through some really hard shifts at the time, but it's just like, we can't really look at it. It's like, oh God, here comes something else. You know, I'm getting tired of dealing with this, but you have to be able to deal with it. So it's just like, you know, they put a test in our life and I always tell my love bugs when I talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, you have to be careful because a lot of times universal plays stuff in your life as well as darkness will, you know, they play a little pattern in our lives, you know, because it will be like the good say, oh, you know. My such and such, you know, my, my, my soul sister or my, 
you know, my soul son or whatever, soul brother, whatever, that, you know, they're going to pass this, you know, they're healed. They're telling me they're healed. You know, then darkness is like, I guarantee you, I can make them draw back and go back to where they were before. They place little wagers like this on our lives. I'm like, Dad, why you got to gamble my life like that? Because the universe is going to have to give you that, you know, when we study in for a test. You know, it's like a pop quiz. You know the teacher going to tell you, hey, you're going to have a pop quiz. But that's the whole thing about pop quiz. It could be tomorrow. It can be at the end of the week. It can even be next week. you be praying all to God like, oh, gosh, let me just have another week because I didn't study for this stuff. You know, but then things are placed in our lives to see what do we get? You know what the lesson was did we get, did we get what the, the this subliminal message was coming out of from this situation they've been in are they going to learn from this are they going to do things that they did before to get themselves in that it's just a lot of times we have to be able to fall for us to be able to you know to appreciate that little bump on our knee or you know that little scratch because it's going to allow you to heal you know you're going to you know make sure you don't trip and fall like that again so there's a lot of things that the retrograde and all these different, you know, shifts that we had is uh, really letting us see the things that we truly need to see in life. You know, being able to do that and grow from it is a beautiful thing. You know, a lot of times we place that saying is a blessing and a curse at the same time. But it's like, I can honestly say it's more of a blessing to me. Because it's like, even though there's upsetting situations and there's sad situations that are being placed in our lives, you know, you have to know these are the things that's going to help you get through that. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of times we have to go through tragedy to be able to appreciate the, you know, the winning, you know, the, the excitement, the celebrations. We have to be able to endure all those things, you know. Yeah, life might be hard, but you know if you're aiming towards a lot of things, it's not going to be easy for you to get because you won't learn the lessons uh, that comes about getting to these blessings, you know. It's just like you have to have people that disappoint you. You have to have people that's going to backstab you. You're going to have people that uses you. But you're also going to have people that are going to be there to encourage you. You have to have people there that's going to give you that uplift and support. You know, so everything balances out. So whether or not, you know, a lot of times we feel like, oh, you know, these things happen to us. You know, the universe is supposed to have our back. They do. But you have to understand whatever we focus on and what energy we put, put out Inner, uh, universe doesn't see bad or good it just sees energy so whatever you're pushing out is what you get back you know and if something happens to you that is like uh, you know kind of negative it's wanting you to be able to see what it is because you know a lot of times with me I ask you know universe can you allow me to see the things that I need to see allow me to be able to see the unseen the things are not spoken a lot of times we go off of people's words but we're not paying attention to the actions behind the words all these things is going to come into play for us to see things what they truly are you can't be mad even though it could be you know our our human self and we get upset like dang you know I was nice to this person and they did this and this and that to me I have people that pray on my downfall all the time but I can't be focused on that I got to keep doing what I do because there's going to be people that are not going to like you there's going to be people that are actually going to support you there are going to be people that will stab you in your back or they'll come into your life just to get more information out of you to see if oh let me see if they dumbass is going to tell me again or to slip up so I can pray against them you know there's all things that's coming in your life that's going to come into play to help you to get where you need to get so that's the reason why the retrograde has us going through so much and it's just like our energy shifts i was on the phone with my my soul sister like what is it day before yesterday day but our energy shifted so bad it knocked all the power out of my house and it stayed out for like about two or three seconds two or three minutes and it came back on and she's in a different state than me and they see you know hers flickered but mine just went out and knocked all the power out like our dog and i'm uploading videos and stuff but that's how powerful our energy is it's like it's allowing us to be able to you know recycle they're giving us gifts and stuff like that but it is like the more you come into your gift the more power powerful energy is going to be implied into your life so you know pay attention to what the lessons that they're needing you to learn you know and be grateful for those things you always got to show an attitude of gratitude because it's just even the little things and when they see that you appreciate the little things there in your life that comes your way that's when the bigger things will start coming so you know you deserve those things you're very worthy of them so i hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video i missed y'all for the last well i think it's been two days 
no a day because I know I still have videos coming out from the last day but I had to just take time out for my self-care you know I'm still I'm doing this I'm trying to keep myself busy um I got a group page that I'm starting uh on Facebook you know it's just like putting out positive posts or anything that's going on in the world that we need to be aware of that we need to look out of you know especially when energy shift you know you want to know dag is there a new moon coming up is there an eclipse you know am I gonna you know my head going to go 360 degrees and spit out pea soup. What do I need to be looking for? You know, all these different things. So, yes, it's like, a, uh, what is it called? A, a Hayoka spiritual journey. So if you, you know, you want to be able to join that, you can. You just, all you do is just look me up under my name on Facebook. And um, I'll gladly put you on there. You know, just let me know, hey, I'm from the YouTube family or whatever. Because if you just send me a straight friend request, then... You know, you don't really say nothing. Some people I do, you know, click on and request that, and some of them I don't, especially if I, you know, I feel kind of some way about it. But, you know, just go ahead and let me know, you know, where you're from. And, um, you know, just go through this and pay attention to the signs that are coming to you. But I would love to give a post notification out to Kelly Borden. Much love to you. Um, remember, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know if you resonate. Or, you know, so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. And y'all, if you, any of y'all listening and I have not replied to like emails or uh, to your comments that you drop, trust and believe I'm going to get through them today. I was just busy with my granddaughter and my, my daughter yesterday, so I really didn't have the time. I want to be able to put my complete energy on my granddaughter, you know, because she'll be all over the place. She's about to be too, so we got to keep an eye on her. But, you know, I will be... Uh, replying to those as well but like i said like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line let me know if you you know you resonate with this um and you know share give me a thumbs up and i will see you on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored forever loved and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days and i pray for y'all all the time that you get your you know all the things you're working hard for that you you know it comes and blossoms into your life and know, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know, you know, your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.